Okay, check this out. This is really cool. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back. So it's another one of the wonder walks and I'm just out here checking things out, you know, and things in the woods have starting to really, are really starting to take off and the weeds are growing up real, real big. And I've been watching this, this patch of may apples. And one of the things that um, I learned about these may apples is they actually produce like an apple. And when, you, when they're, when they're ripe is when they're like a yellow color. Um, but not all may apples, um, plants produce an apple. It really depends on whether or not the flower was, um, pollinated, I believe. So just checking this out, a lot of these, um, about a week ago, a lot of these may apple plants had the flowers on them. And the, the, I just noticed today that it looks like there's a little apple starting to grow on several of these. And I don't, claim to be an expert on any of this or, or whatever but um how exciting to see these little guys popping up but there's something else in this patch of may apples that's really exciting that i've never seen before and i want to share that with you down here in this patch of may apples is this plant here okay like i said I've never seen this plant before. I just happened to notice it. And it's called Jack in the Pulpit. And the only reason I know what this plant is is from this really cool app that I downloaded. So the app is called Picture This. And I know that if you take uh, pictures with your phone, a lot of times, you know, with modern technology, you can go into the information in the picture and it'll tell you what it is. But what I found in the Picture This app, um, is it gives you a lot of information and you can use this app for free. You can also use it as a, as a, uh, as a paid, um, you can subscribe to it so you can get more details. But even with the, with the free, uh, version, um, you get lots of cool data. Like one of the things that I just learned about this, this, uh, this Jack in the pulpit plant is that, um, interesting topics is that the, uh, Meskwaki Indians, Legend has it that they would pull up the roots of that plant and grind up the the uh, the corm and uh, mix it in with uh, strongly smelling uh, meat and leave it out for their enemies and with the hope that they would uh, be poisoned by it. So I just thought that was kind of interesting too. But why am I why am I talking about this app and and how does it relate to this channel? Well, um, I've been using this app quite a bit. Uh, to identify the different types of weeds and even the trees that I have um, available to me on this property out here. So why is that important? Well, I know um, certain you know herbicides work against um, work better against some of these plants. So so with that app, you can use that to um, help you come up with your plan for how to take care of some of the weeds that you have out in your food plots. So as you can see behind me in this food plot, there's a lot of weeds and there's a lot of things out here that I wouldn't know what they were without the help of that, that app. And then in addition to, to the weeds is uh, learning some of the, some of the trees that you have. So which trees do you cut down? Should you cut them down? Um, it really helps you make a more informed decision on whether or not you want to cut that tree. So obviously, you know, oaks are kind of easy to identify. But sometimes they're not, especially when they don't have their leaves or they don't, or there aren't any acorns on the ground that are obvious to you. Um, but what about elms? Should you cut an elm tree down? I don't know, maybe it depends on, on your situation. You know, cherries, um, hickories, pine trees. That app will tell you just by looking at the bark uh, what kind of tree you're, you're, you're working with. So that'll help you make a more informed decision um, when it comes to your habitat management and I've definitely been using it. So I just wanted to share that with you, you know, give you some encouragement. I hope you guys are having a lot of luck, um, with your spring and summer plans for this fall. Um, so yeah, just, uh, thanks for being here with me guys. Um, it really means a lot to me. Like I, like I always tell you, it means a lot to me. And, um, I also would ask that if, uh, you've made it this far in the video, you would consider, subscribing to the channel um i have learned that uh it really does subscriptions actually really do help out a lot when you're 
you know, trying to um, get your videos noticed. Um, the algorithm um, uses those subscriptions to offer up your, you know, the the creator's uh, content to the next viewer. So um, if you wouldn't mind, give me a like, hit me, hit my subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Um, pro tip. Uh, when you download the picture of this app, it's really going to look like you have to pay for it. But if you look real closely in the upper right hand corner, there's a really faint cancel button. That's how you get it for free. See ya. And another interesting fact about the uh, Jack in the Pulpit is it's a native plant to the, this eastern side of the United States. So if you happen to see some Mayflower plants, Spend some time looking through through them and see if you can actually find one for yourself. And if you do, tag me in your video or tag me. Send it to me. However you get it to me. I'd love to I'd love to know if you found one too.